Can you fly into Kabul? Can you fly into Kabul? No. Nah. Yes. Well, come on, we know what's going on in Kabul at the moment, so, isn't so, it? So is Kabul a prison? So is Afghanistan a prison now? Why would it be a prison now? Because a place where you can't fly in. Why can't I fly in there now? I'm asking you. No, why can't I fly in there now? I'm asking you. Can you fly into Kabul? No, why can't I? So tell me why. Alright, no, I can't. Okay, so I can't fly into Kabul right now because protecting the airport is US soldiers and outside of Kabul are a Taliban. Okay, now everyone's leaving at the moment. The, the US army is facilitating people leaving. Okay, there will come a time when I can fly to Kabul. When it is, when the US have finally left and the Taliban have complete control. Then you can fly to Kabul, yes. When can I fly to Gaza? What? When can I fly to Gaza? When they start behaving. When they start behaving? Yes. When Israel, when Israel gave back Gaza, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, personally, I'm not a supporter of Israel, but when Israel gave back Gaza to the Palestinian people that wasn't a prison, they turned it into a prison after... No, 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 no. ...springboard to attack Israel. No, Israel not at all. It's not, it's, not it's not ancient history, it's modern history from the last 20 years. Listen, you you're acting yes. like it's equal on each side. It's an occupied force. Absolutely. Just told you something. absolutely. Listen, listen. What happened in Nazi Germany is happening in Gaza. I disagree with that. No this. difference. I disagree with that completely. Completely the same. That means, that means completely, completely, that completely the same. That means that just tells us one thing. What's that? You might ignorant. know what's going on in Gaza. I don't know. I have no idea what Nazi Germany was all about. Why? It's shame on you. If you can make this comparison. Shame why not? On why not? Why, if you make this comparison, you've, proved, you've told all the people standing yes. here that you have don't have an inkling about history or stuff that happened not 500 years ago, but 60, 70 yes, years yes. ago. Yes, yes. That's it, simple. I think it's the same. What? I don't see the difference. Okay. I, I, I see. I, I, I see the treatment. That's very warped mindset. Why? That's my personal Why? opinion. Okay. Who because cares? if you see a genocide of six million people okay. for what they believe, my, one no, 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 second mindset, let, mate. Mindset, let me mate. finish. When you're going to talk go about Germany and yeah. Nazi Germany yeah, yeah, go on. and the Holocaust, yeah. I have the right to talk without being interrupted. Why? Why do you have the right to talk without being interrupted? You know what? Interrupt and enjoy the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gaza's not a prison. Yeah. Cheers, lads. Was Gaza a prison when Israel returned? Just answer me that question. Yes, Israel returned? What? It didn't belong to them. I'm you didn't answer the question. Okay. Israel, Israel are occupying land illegally. Why the, the international the community is ignoring it, I don't know. Subject about prison. So yeah, yeah. Prison. Uh, okay, what's a prison? A place where you where you can't fly in with an airplane. No, an air, a prison is where you cannot leave and return at your own free will. Yeah, right, nice. there you go. On the 4th of December 2001, Israeli airstrike destroyed the Gaza International Airport. On the 13th of March 2002, the Council of the International Aviation Organization strongly condemned the attack and strongly urges Israel to restore the Gaza International Airport to allow its reopening as soon as possible. Gaza International Airport has been abandoned for 20 years. The question is, when will Palestine be free to fly again? <laughs>